The Sunrise controller is capable of importing DXF as well as DWG files and is network and USB ready. To create a new part, we'll choose new file and we'll give our file a name. The memo can be anything that you would like to carry through with the file throughout the punching process. This could be a customer name, a purchase order number, a job number, or a part number. So we'll call it ABC123. The length of the material is 24 inches, and it's 6 inches wide, and we'll hit OK. And now we can see the full part on the screen. We'll then choose our tools. So this pulls up the punch library that we can add additional tools as well, or we can choose ones that are already there. So we'll choose to add a round that's inch and a quarter, and we'll have that for our middle punch. Tool one will have an oblong, and tool number three, which is the right side, will make another oblong. Tool number four is prick punch or spot mode. That's great for tooling alignment or positioning in the field of prick punch items. We'll now choose one of the four different templates. Line mode creates a linear line of holes with any of the tools that you want. Array mode is an array pattern or a matrix, again, with any of the different tools that you want. Arc mode is a circle or a semicircle. And custom mode can be any different tool, any position. So you would just insert different coordinates. Maybe on our X, we wanted it two on the X and two on the Y, and we'll use tool two. And then we'll move it over two inches and down two inches, and we're gonna use tool number one and add. And we'll fill up our list of whatever coordinates our holes are, even if they're different size holes. We'll hit okay and the system will automatically enter those into the correct position, the correct drawing of what the tool will be, and also provide you the list of where your, uh, your coordinates are. We can choose sequence line and that will show us how the machine will run the part. And we have the ability of moving that sequence line if we don't like that position. We can move individual holes around. We can run the X axis or the Y axis first. And in our software, we can also click on individual holes and right click on them and move individual holes, delete individual holes, and really have finite control of every single pattern, every single hole, whether you use one of the templates or you import your own DXF drawing. So we'll click undo and we'll make an array here. So X and Y is positioned off that top left corner of the material. That's also where we're inserting that into our machine. So we'll run the first inch and a half off the left and inch and a half off the top. I is our spacing between the columns. So we're gonna do 21 inches. J is our spacing between the rows. So because we're inch and a half, we're gonna do three. M is how many columns do we want, and we'll choose two. Our first column counts. And N is how many of the rows do we want. And let's make an oblong, so we're gonna choose tool one and hit okay. So there are four oblong holes. We'll now go back in and let's do a line mode. And we'll put a linear line right through the part. So on our X, which is from left to right, We'll start it again at inch and a half. The Y will start halfway down our six inch plate, which is three. The theta or degrees is do we want that line to turn at all? And we don't, we want it to go straight across, so we'll leave it at zero. I is our spacing between our holes. So let's do uh, four inch spacing. And let's do three holes and let's choose the big punch tool one. That was an oblong tool one. So there's our three holes. So we could of course continue that, we can add other ones, or we could also undo, choose line again, 
and now choose the correct option that we want. And there's our three large holes. We'll save this file. And then now we can go immediately into execute mode. Or if you use our offline software, you'll also be able to use this in the office, send the file directly to the controller, and your operator only needs to go into execute, load file, and then choose that file in whatever directory you want. That could be a network directory, it could be a USB directory. They will choose the name by date, by memo, hit OK, and that will load the file, advise them which punches to use, the material size, they can make sure that all of their calibrations and motors and everything are on, and they can run the file in one of three different modes.